Hey, what's up guys? Ken here from the Retro Toys Capades channel. I'm checking out the rest of the toy store, aside from just Jurassic World merchandise all the while. And wow, this thing really caught my eye. It's the Legends figures from Ant-Man and the Wasp, but specifically that of Lewis and the Ghost. Guys, wow. I gotta say that if this is the level of movie likeness that we can expect from Hasbro on a toy line, I say that they should do all the actor likenesses for retail toys moving forward. Now seriously, this thing looks like they shrunk the actual actor, Michael Pina himself, and made him into a toy. Now the set is just great, it comes with a lot of movie accurate accessories and the ghost figure, wow, just on the facial likeness alone, this one gets 11 out of 10. I mean, I know we have laser scanning technology these days for figures, but it's not always quite there. I mean, most of the time, it's maybe 70% there, but this one is 101% there. Hey, also part of the 80 year series, Hasbro's Legends line has this super shiny comic book version of Iron Man. Now you can't ever have too many Iron Mans, and this one is possibly one of the best ever based on his early appearance, and it's also feature packed, with no less than 3 interchangeable hits, and a whole bunch of repulsor blasts to shoot out of his hands. Now if you're a comic book and action figure collector, Man, what can I say? It's the best time to be alive. Then we have Captain America. Classic Captain America. And you know what? I'm one of the biggest Cap fans out there. Especially from his run of comics in the late 80s as written by the late and great Mark Grunewald. And wow, this figure is really a Cap for the ages. A great sculpt with a solid looking shield and a bunch of interchangeable hands. You also get an extra head, though I'm not sure how the second one differs from the first. Maybe one is angrier looking. Now what do you guys think? Okay, so now we get to the real showstopper. Well, I mean, second at least to that jaw-dropping Michael Pina figure. So here's the Wolverine and Hulk set. And wow, you know the packaging just can't contain this much excitement. That is a damn good looking first appearance Wolverine figure. And you know what, no matter how many super large figures we've gotten of the Hulk from the Toy Biz days to now, they've never stopped looking breathtaking. I especially love the bright green on the body. Damn man, that's comic book green. Now all this set really needs is an updated reprint of Hulk issue 181, the comic book that this set is based on. And I'm telling you, that would make this possibly the best mass market comic book related toy product of the year. Well okay, at least for July and August. So that's the video guys, let me know what you think of it. And let me know as well if you are a Michael Pina fan too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you, and I'll catch you guys again real soon.